Uh, have you had a cough? Americans in about half of U.S. states began emerging on Friday from home confinement. Texas began a phased-in reopening of businesses shuttered more than a month ago, with restaurants, retail stores, and malls allowed to open at 25% capacity. A second phase is planned for May 18th if COVID-19 infection rates continue to decline. In South Carolina, shoppers were eager to get in a little retail therapy. I'm glad to see that things are easing up. If you're going to get it, you're going to get it, you know. I'm not going to wear my mask unless they make me. Uh, but we're not out of the woods yet. But hard-hit uh, right? states like New Jersey and New York are maintaining their restrictions to prevent new infections. Governors have been under pressure to ease restrictions amid growing protests. I don't think we should sacrifice our economy for the for the numbers that we're for the numbers that we're seeing. President Donald Trump added to that pressure on Friday, urging Michigan's Democratic governor Gretchen Whitmer to compromise with activists some of them in fatigues and armed with long guns, who defied her stay-at-home measures. Trump tweeted, quote, The governor of Michigan should give a little and put out the fire. These are very good people, but they are angry. Civil liberties mean nothing if you're dead because you got the coronavirus. Others object to the reopenings. Florida lawyer Daniel Yulfelder protested the state's opened beaches Friday by walking around in a Grim Reaper costume. Are we going to allow this area to draw people from all over and bring and spread the virus rather than try to continue to flatten the curve and do the right thing? At a May Day protest Friday, Sacagawea Hall, an activist in Jackson, Mississippi, said the safety of workers must come first. The people who are at risk every day by opening up an economy which isn't serving us and hasn't served us for a long time anyway are the people who need to be deciding when we go back to work and when we um, when it's safe based on science and health recommendations. Georgia, which has so far gone farthest in reopening, will be closely watched to see whether these reopenings lead to a spike in new infections as cases there continue to rise. The state's Department of Public Health reported an increase of more than 1,000 COVID-19 cases on Friday from a day before. As of Friday, a Reuters tally found that the number of known infections nationwide had climbed to more than 1 million, including nearly 64,000 deaths.